the instrument behind me is the Lawler Low Temperature Torque Tester. It's the single position model. It features the air chamber itself. The lower deck has the refrigeration compressors and assembly. There is a digital paperless videographic chart recorder for logging of the load cell and the bath temperature. There's also a series of buttons here. You have the main power for the instrument, the blower on and off. This is for turning on of the uh, torque motor. And then this uh, selector switch is for forward and reverse of the motor to put the tension and compression depending on the test method. Next, let's assemble the roller bearing into the cage. Take care not to over tighten. Here we have the air chamber with the lid open. In it, you could see the bath temperature probe, behind it, the blower, down below the load cell. The load cell is set up for D1478. It has a thin braided 30 pound test fishing line, at the end of which is a small loop, hopefully visible here. We have the shaft itself for the motor and it's going to be set up for D1478 shortly. Next, let's assemble the cage with bearing onto the shaft. The lock washer. And lock nut. Tighten using two wrenches. Take care not to over tighten. And last step is to take the fishing line with the loop and place it over the pin. and that completes the setup for D1478. Please make sure to load the bearing assembly at test temperature for demonstration purposes that is not the case here. To actually start recording, open the first door, press the key marked user to reset for the next test and press start. Operate this way for two hours, soak period, at test temperature. Then press the motor start button. Make sure that the selector switch is in tension for D1478. With the motor running for one additional hour soak period, record the values. The recorder captures an XY plot, as well as digital values of temperature, torque, and maximum torque, which is required in the method as the starting maximum torque. For demonstration purposes, the system is not set up right now, but you can see the different values. The green icon indicates that the unit is recording. There is a horizontal bar graph that indicates the available memory. To stop recording, just simply press stop, hit enter, and the data is sort saved to a compact flash memory card. The indicator icon changes to the red. As the memory card fills up, the floppy disk icon will fill up. The actual memory is stored behind the second door. It is a compact flash memory card that can be removed. But before pressing the button to remove it, press the function button and media eject, and then compact flash so that the media can be safely removed. The recorder has a historical mode that can be used on screen instead of going to the computer and using the compact flash. Press the enter button and you can navigate to the menu called trend history. 
press enter and you can see the recorder is in inverse video to indicate that it is in historical mode. You can use the arrow keys to navigate a yellow line across the screen to the desired points and they're displayed digitally under each variable's uh, tag name. To return, simply press uh, exit and you're back into recording mode. We invite you to contact us for more information and pricing. Also, ask about our other lubricant testing equipment, such as our foam test apparatus.